Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is a Taylor Swift Vintage Chic Sense, or as I like to call it, VCS Restock. As you know, Curvy and Vintage Chic Sense, or maybe you don't know, is all about all things vintage, all things pop culture, and I love that. I love that so much about Kirby and Kirby's Wax, and when I saw that she was having a Taylor Swift inspired restock, I knew I had to participate because there's just so much good stuff here, I, I can't not participate. This light is like flickering. Anyway, so my sample that I receive is Deputy Judy's Lemon Squares, and it's a little scent shot, and I have this from the last restock. And yeah, it just smells like a really great lemon bakery scent. So super, whoop, super excited about that. She also included a little doily with my name on it, as you can see, with a heart. So she does that for Valentine's Day. This kind of goes back to her roots. She used to do that a lot during the older days of VCS. All right, so I think we'll start small and work our way up. So the first thing included that I ordered was teardrops on my guitar. Now this, blue sugar, zucchini bread, and warm vanilla sugar. Yes, if you're familiar with that blend from another vendor, I told her that I would love to see that in VCS Wax. And it's so good. It's not the same as um, the one from, I'll just say it, from L3. But, um, and I think the reason why is because Kirby Zucchini Bread is so unique, and it is so creamy, so rich, so decadent, where this one... Not that it's not rich and decadent, because it is. It's it's so much more creamy than that. It's not spicy like the L3 one. Mm. So good. Blue sugar, warm vanilla sugar, and zucchini bread as a blend knocks it out of the park. Just so you know, there's nothing in this order I don't like. This. Let's first talk about these shapes. She brought these shapes back which are her jumbo roses. These are nice, big size roses, and they're two-toned. Love these shapes. This scent, though, it's Raspberry Jam Bakery. Buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey butter, or gooey batter, raspberry jam, a hint of sugared almonds, just like you walked into the bakery. So her bakery scent is like that very creamy, like she said, you just walked into a bakery, Sugared almonds, gooey batter, yeasty dough, bread, all that deliciousness. No bread, actually. No, like no, no fresh baked bread. But her raspberry jam. Do not sleep on Kirby's raspberry jam, and that is what shines through the most in this blend. It is that like really seedy, ooey, gooey raspberry jam. Catherine King knows what I'm talking about. This scent. I created for VCS for this restock and full disclosure like I paid for this myself I did not get it for free even though I helped create it and this is look what you made me do which is one of my favorite songs and it is strawberry pound cake palo santo and vanilla butter fudge this com this comment this combo you guys Just the right amount of Palo Santo to give it that creamy, woody earthiness. And strawberry pound cake mixed with vanilla butter fudge. Her vanilla butter fudge is next level. That oil is next level. It's, it's so creamy. It's so buttery. It's, it's not really chocolatey, even though it says butter fudge. It's more... How do I describe it? It's more... It just kind of adds a richness to the scent. Yeah, this is a rich, rich strawberry pound cake. And even if you don't like Palo Santo, I think you need to try this. It just, it really rounds out the scent. And then this one is my favorite things. And this is fresh picked strawberries, fresh baked bread, and vanilla butter fudge. I'm also a sucker for fresh baked bread and wax. 
I think because, oh, this is so good. When fresh baked bread, when you put it in wax, it smells great. But when you pop it in your warmers, it really comes alive in the warmer. That and pretzel. Those are two notes that they really come alive in the warmer. And I think that's because those are two things that when you do bake them, it penetrates your house. And I think when you add it to wax and you put it in the warmer, it just, it fills the air with this richness and it's, it's heavenly. And mixed with fresh picked strawberry mm, and vanilla butter fudge, 10 out of 10. It's so good. You get the yeastiness of that fresh baked bread. You get the juiciness of her fresh picked strawberry and then that vanilla butter fudge. Heaven. She did offer a quartet of <laughs> the Little Debbie ice cream cakes. So as you know, this was a scent that I feel like for Christmas, she like knocked it out of the park. Christmas tree cakes ice cream, which was the Christmas tree cakes from Little Debbie. They created into an ice cream. So she created it in wax. Vanilla ice cream, yellow cake, vanilla buttercream, and a touch of green sprinkles. Talked about it before. It's so good. It smells just like those candy coated vanilla cakes. It's so yummy. With that cold ice cream though, she created the three, some of the other flavors, because they now expanded into other flavors, which is super fun. The first one is oatmeal cream pie ice cream. And this is one that I was most excited about because I love oatmeal cream pies. And yeah, it smells just like those oatmeal cream pies. And the notes are oatmeal cream pie, but vanilla buttercream and vanilla ice cream. I know that it is vanilla buttercream and oatmeal cream pie. To me, when I eat them, it almost tastes like a marshmallow fluff, just a little bit because the icing is so rich. This just it smells just like it with added vanilla. You get the you get that like oatmeal scent without a lot of vendors, oatmeal smells spicy to me. Like the oatmeal, like oatmeal cookie or whatever, and I don't understand why. This is not, this is very creamy. Now, speaking of spicy, this is not spicy, but honey buns ice cream. This is honey buns, sweet cinnamon and sugar, and vanilla ice cream. Cinnamon and sugar is definitely the first note that you pick up in this. Or at least I do. It's not spicy, but it definitely is real cinnamon and sugar. It's not like a little bit of cinnamon. It's definitely in the forefront. I don't necessarily consider this like a honey bun ice cream, but it does smell a little bit like a spiced cinnamon and sugar creaminess. It's like a very, very creamy cinnamon and sugar. I really, really like it. And then the last one in the quartet is strawberry shortcake roll ice cream. Now, do you remember those little strawberry shortcake rolls? They kind of look like a ho-ho. Now, when I was a kid, did anybody else do this? Please comment down below if you did this. I slice them and I put them on like a paper plate and I'm like, oh look, I'm eating sushi. I don't like sushi, but I don't like fish. But yeah, so this one is yellow cake, strawberry shortcake, and vanilla ice cream. Love the colors. White with that hot pink on the back. This just smells like a very, 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 very vanilla ice cream with strawberries. Like fresh picked strawberries on vanilla ice cream. It's so good. I love that her vanilla ice cream oil really smells cold. It's amazing what you can do with wax when you have that like, like vanilla ice cream. Like I said, it's so unique because it's just vanilla, but you swear you smell the coldness from this. So those were like my roses and there were some T-Swift shapes. But now let's get really into the fun shapes. This is like, I'm blown away by these shapes. Just need to hold this up. She sells these new conversation bags, conversation kiss bags. And I'm like, oh cute, like conversation hearts. And then there's a pair of lips. The lips, you guys, look how giant the lips are in this bag. It is huge and then you get all these cute conversation hearts so you get eight conversation hearts and this giant pair of lips and each conversation heart really actually each one has a little phrase on it i think it's adorable so i did get four different scents in the conversation kiss bags 
I love that they store flat. This guy, one of the highlights of this order. Tim McGraw. Sugared peach slices, brown sugar and fig, and rich sugar cookies. I love peach and wax. And that's what you get, number one. You get a sugary, sweet peach and brown sugar and fig, which, yes, it is a body care. This says, I want to meet. Um, yes. Uh, it does. It's, you get the brown sugar and fig, but mixed with the peach and the sugar cookie, it makes it much more bakery and you don't capture as much of the body care. It's such a good peach. Such a good peach. Catherine King, you want a good peach? It's a good peach. I can't get over these giant lips. I'm obsessed. This one is Exile. And this is one, I love this song from Taylor Swift. This is Palo Santo, Cashmere Cedar, and Library Books. Cashmere Cedar is a note that I'm not super, super familiar with in wax. This... This is what I picture a very sexy man in a library to smell like. Like, you walk into a library full of books, and the sexiest man is in there. And you walk in, and he has his cologne on, and he's like, do you need a book? And you're like, uh, -uh. a book? Yeah, yeah, I need a book. <laughs> That's what this, it's so good. It's just the right amount of masculine. The Palo Santo really adds this richness to it. Oh, Danny. Danny, Danny, you need to try this scent. This is definitely a Danny scent. It is so good. I'm not typically into masculine scents like that, but that's awesome. This one is Love Story, and this is fresh strawberry ice cream in a waffle cone, drizzled with raspberry sauce and heart-shaped sprinkles. It definitely smells like raspberry, like very strong. I mean, her raspberry is strong, but yeah, it just smells very much like raspberry ice cream. I don't get much waffle cone or anything. Yeah, just like raspberry ice cream. Oh, I cannot wait for these to cure. These were all literally poured end of January, so I'm gonna let these cure for a little while before I pop them in my warmers and oh, they'll be perfect. And then last but not least, raspberry key lime cupcake. These like hot, gr hot, hot green, like bright green lips. And this is rich vanilla cupcakes filled with raspberry jam and key lime frosting. Oops, they're like falling down. It's not as strong on key lime as I would like. I really love my key lime nice and strong. I feel like Catherine King and I really have such similar noses when it comes to the bakery. Yeah. I wish the key lime was stronger. It's there. It's noticeable. But raspberry is such a strong oil, too. They're, like, competing. Oh, it's really nice. It's really nice. Now, I will say, this is a little plug. Um, when you see the Reese Witherspoon restock this weekend, and you see, I want a hot dog, makes me want a hot dog real bad, I came up with that blend. It is a raspberry jam, key lime pie, and zucchini bread. And I told Kirby, amp up the key lime pie, please, because I can't wait. <gasps> now these guys, these are her new postcard shapes. Look at these, look at these vibrant colors, you guys. Let me find one where you can really see the detail. The orange one's pretty detailed. Look at these. I think this is like a, like a candy mold. It's a giant, like, um, postcard. It definitely is probably like, Bigger than four by six. I would say it's probably like five by seven. And they're thin, so you can like snap them. Super easy to store. The first one I got is in Galentine's Day. This is strawberry Kool-Aid poured over mango sorbet. Kirby, this is why you're a vendor that's reputable, will always get my money, and why so many people love you. It sounds so basic, right? It smells like actual Kool-Aid. Powdered strawberry Kool-Aid. I don't know how she does it. There's so many strawberry scents in the world, and I know I've talked about before, 
oh, what's, what's another strawberry? But this legitimately smells like Kool-Aid. And mango sorbet being so strong and juicy of an oil blended with it. I love. This is going to be so good in like the heat of summer when I know I want something like fruity, but I'm not sure what I want. That, 100%. Next, we have a nice teal blue. It is Lover. And this is coconut cream pie, vanilla wafers, and pie crust. I have found when you blend vanilla wafers and pie crust, it makes the pie crust more realistic. I don't know if it's because the vanilla wafer oil has more like crumbly cookie note and pie crust just needs that. So blending pie crust and vanilla wafers together gives you a more realistic pie crust. So blended with coconut cream pie, it smells like a legit coconut cream pie with, with the crust. And now it makes me wonder if you mix key lime pie, Nella wafers, and pie crust. Ultimate key lime pie. Next we have Martha's Strawberry Cheesecake. Zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, Strawberry Cheesecake, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This is nice. You pick up on the zucchini bread and the Cupcakes at Tiffany's for sure. Even though, like, Strawberry Cheesecake is so creamy. You get it all. Zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, Strawberry Cheesecake, Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Yeah, you get it all. It's very creamy, very rich. I say that a lot, but it is. And the zucchini bread, again... Kirby zucchini bread, you do not smell that corn chip note. She has the creaminess in her zucchini bread so down pat. It's heaven. This light is like really bothering me. And then we have We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. Like, ever. And that's what it says. <laughs> this is Satsuma Blackberry Ginger Ale. If you love Chicago Outfit, but you want Satsuma, 100%. Ginger ale, ginger ale, ginger ale. Give me all the ginger ale because I love ginger ale and wax. I say it before, I say it again. Ginger ale, it smells so realistic like you could like pour the drink because the ginger ale just makes it smell effervescent for real. It's amazing. It's not fizzy pop. Bad blood. Pomegranate orange ginger ale. Not the biggest fan of orange and wax, but I love ginger ale, so. This pomegranate oil, it does remind me of the pomegranate that's in Perfectly Pomegranate from Scentsy. Because it is very much that, like, sweet, sugary pomegranate. But you get that ginger ale, which I'm so happy I for. I think I need to get a new light bulb for this light because it's like flickering really bad. And then last but not least is Shake It Off. Peanut butter milkshake, sugar cookie dough pieces, marshmallow sauce, and caramelized pralines. And this, it's my least favorite from the order. It's just not peanut butter enough for me. So I think I'm going to blend it with her peanut butter bakery, which is just plain peanut butter. Oh, it's good though. It smells like a peanut butter milkshake. I just need it to be more peanut butter. Yeah, but it's good. All right, guys. That was my haul. I wanted to make it quick and simple because I have so much wax from Kirby. And I'm not complaining. I love having a lot of VCS. But my VCS drawer cannot fit another piece of wax. So I'm glad that, you know, the low buy is starting to get to the end so I can melt through more and more wax and I'm going to do a lot more vendor specific weeks and it's going to be amazing. So yeah, let me know if you guys participated in the Taylor Swift restock, what scents you liked. Leave comments below, get the conversation started. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you are subscribed, I'm so happy. Click that notification bell in the corner, that way you're alerted every time you up I upload in here. You matter. I love you all so much and have a great day. Bye guys.